Are you thinking about moving from California to Idaho? Well, if so, you're probably super excited about the idea of a fresh start and a slower pace of life. And let's be honest, the more affordable housing, but you might also feel a bit nervous about the changes coming your way. So as someone who made the move from California to Idaho myself, I completely understand what you're going through. Hey everyone, my name is Curtis Chisholm with the Chisholm team brokered by eXp Realty. And I specialize in helping families just like you make the move out here to Boise, Idaho, particularly from California and moving to a new state, especially from a place like California to somewhere like Idaho comes with a lot of adjustments, cultural, financial, and lifestyle wise. And in this video, I'm going to cover the biggest challenges you might face when making the move and more importantly, how you can prepare for them. So let's jump right into it. If you've been looking at home prices in Boise, Idaho and comparing them to California, you're probably experiencing what I like to call sticker shock in reverse. In California, whether you're in San Diego, Los Angeles, or the Bay Area, home prices are sky high and you might be used to paying well over a million dollars for a home that's just average. But here in Boise, you'll find much more affordable home options, homes that are bigger with larger lots and often at half the price. For example, in San Diego, the median home price is well over a million dollars now for a modest older home, often without much land at all. In Boise, that same amount of money can get you a much larger home in a newer development possibly with some acreage or mountain views. I mean, the comparison is just completely night and day, but with this affordability comes just a pretty big challenge also because Idaho's housing market is just not as competitive as California as some buyers might expect. While homes in Idaho are generally newer and bigger, the level of customization or luxury finishes might not always match what you would expect in California, unless you opt for high end or new construction homes. In Idaho, many of the homes are built to be practical and functional, focusing on durability for all four seasons. You may not find the ultra modern architecture that's very common in parts California, but you will find our homes that are built to last with features like large backyards, plenty of storage space and energy efficient designs. If you're looking at resale homes, you may find while they're solidly built, they might not have all those updates that you're used to. The key here is to adjust your expectations and work with someone who knows the local market like myself. And I can help you find that perfect home, whether that's new construction with builder incentives or a resale home with room for negotiation with that home seller. Speaking of new construction, it really is booming in Boise and builders are offering incentives to entice buyers covering closing costs or to buy down your mortgage rate. And some builders are even offering upgrades like better countertops, flooring, landscaping, just to help sweeten the deal. And just remember, new construction homes are often in less established neighborhoods. So you'll be trading some of that California hustle and bustle from our open developing areas. You might also encounter ongoing construction in these neighborhoods for a few years as the area grows, but that is the price you pay for getting in early on a growing community. Let's talk a bit about the weather. If you're coming from coastal California, like myself, where the climate is mild year round, Idaho is going to feel like a whole new world for you. Boise has four distinct seasons, which can be both exciting and challenging. And this is especially true if you've lived most of your life in places like San Diego or LA, where the weather is famously mild and predictable. Summers here can get hot, definitely going over hundred degrees in July and August. It is a dry heat, unlike some humidity you'll find in other parts of the country, of course, like Florida or Tennessee. And that means even on a really hot day, just getting into the shade can get you some relief or getting down to the river. Now, Idaho's evenings do tend to cool off. That allows you to get out and enjoy those outdoor activities, do the trip to the Boise River, without the sweltering discomfort that you might find in more humid regions. Then there is, of course, the winter. And this is where most Californians face the biggest weather shock. It can get really cold in Boise with temperatures dipping into the teens or single digits at night. And snow is a regular occurrence. And although Boise doesn't get as much as the mountain areas just outside of the city, but don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Many Idahoans do embrace and love the winter weather just by skiing, snowboarding, sledding with families. And if you've never experienced a white Christmas, Idaho is the place to do it. I remember my first Idaho winter after moving from San Diego. My flip-flops just didn't last long, but after adjusting and investing in some good snow gear, it wasn't really that bad. And in fact, you might even grow to love the seasonal changes here. And one thing to keep in mind is Idaho snow removal systems are really efficient. So even after a snowfall, the roads are cleared really quickly. If you've never driven in snow before, it's definitely worth taking some time to learn or consider investing in a vehicle with all wheel drive. And don't forget to budget for things like all season tires or snow tires, windshield wiper fluid designed for freezing temperature. And then we've got cultural differences that are one of the biggest adjustments Californians make when moving to Idaho. Idaho is known for the slower pace of life, family-friendly communities, and conservative-leaning politics, which may be a shift from the hustle and bustle of California cities, which obviously are much more progressive and liberal. And in California, you might be used to fast-paced lifestyle with access to nightlife, trendy restaurants, and various entertainment options. But Idaho offers a lot more laid-back experience with a focus on outdoor recreation, local businesses, and family-oriented activities. One phrase you might hear often is, please do not California my Idaho. And this reflects the concerns that some 
locals have about the influx of Californians and the potential for changes to their way of life. But don't worry, people are not as hostile as it might seem online. Most Idahoans are incredibly friendly and welcoming. I've helped dozens and dozens of families relocate from California and none of them get that negativity. So the key here is just to come with an open mind, embrace the local culture, make an effort to blend in. Idahoans value community, so getting involved in local events, schools, or even outdoor activities like hiking and fishing can go a long way in making you feel comfortable and at home. And if you're coming from an area like Los Angeles where diversity and urban living are a part of the culture, you might find that Idaho offers a different kind of diversity, one rooted in outdoor lifestyles, agriculture, and self-sufficiency. Another challenge many Californians face when moving to Idaho is adjusting to the job market. If you're used to tech-heavy, high-paying jobs in California, well, Idaho's job market might definitely seem smaller. While Boise has a growing tech industry and strong job sector, in healthcare, manufacturing, and education, salaries are generally lower than what you might expect to find in California cities. But the good news here, many people are moving to Idaho with remote jobs, allowing them to keep their California-based salaries while enjoying Idaho's lower cost of living. If you're in a position to work remotely, this could be a really fantastic way to have the best of both worlds. And in fact, many Californians who move to Boise find that the slower pace of life and the beautiful scenery just make working remotely so much more enjoyable. I mean, imagine having your Zoom meetings from the view of the Boise foothills or a quiet, spacious backyard instead of that cramped apartment or that busy street you might be on. If you're looking for a local job, be prepared to adjust your salary expectations just a bit, but also take into account that your expenses, especially housing, will be significantly lower. Boise is a very entrepreneurial city, so if you've been dreaming about starting your own business, this might be the perfect opportunity for you. The city is supportive of small businesses with very few barriers to entry compared to California, and you might find it easier to get your ideas off the ground. One of the biggest advantages of moving to Idaho is that lower cost of living, particularly when it comes to property taxes. In California, property taxes are definitely high, well over 1%. At least starting at 1% thanks to Prop 13. In Idaho, property taxes are lower, which can be definitely a nice pleasant surprise for new homeowners. For example, the average property tax rate in Idaho is just 0.63%. While that might not seem like a big difference, but we're talking about the price of the homes, especially higher priced homes in California, the savings can really add up quickly. Now beyond property taxes, everyday costs like groceries, utilities, and gas are all lower in Idaho. Gas prices in particular are significantly lower than California, and you'll likely notice savings on your utility bills. One thing that sometimes surprises Californians moving to Boise is the healthcare system. While Boise has excellent healthcare providers, including major hospitals like St. Luke's and St. Alphonsus, the variety and number of specialized healthcare options may be less than what you're used to in California. So if you're coming from a major metro area like San Francisco or LA, where the world-class medical facilities are just a short drive away, Idaho's smaller network might take some getting used to. If you have any specific medical needs that are in your used to seeing specialists, it's important to do your research and find out if those services are readily available available in Idaho before you make that move here. The good news is that Boise is growing rapidly and with that comes an expanding healthcare system. But for highly specialized care, you may have to travel to a larger city, maybe down to Salt Lake City. However, for general healthcare needs, Idaho's hospitals and clinics provide high quality care with shorter wait times than you're used to in California. And if you're moving with kids, the education system is another area you might notice some differences. While Idaho schools are known for having strong community ties and dedicated teachers, they've not always had the same resources as schools in California, especially in more rural areas. Idaho is generally more conservative and that reflects in the curriculum and school policies. However, many of the suburban areas around Boise, such as Meridian and Eagle, have excellent school districts that offer strong academic programs and extracurricular activities. That said, Boise's public school systems are generally well regarded. However, there are also a lot of private and charter schools available as well. Now, Meridian and Eagle are going to have the consistently highest rated school district in the area. But it's definitely important to research the schools before you make the move here, even schedule a visit before you make that final decision. This is especially important if you're looking for something really specific for your children, like STEM or the arts. Now, let's talk about traffic and transportation. If you're moving from a major city in California, you're probably used to long commutes and constant traffic jams. But in Boise, while traffic has increased with the population boom, it's still nothing compared to California highways. Most commutes in Boise are under 30 minutes. Traffic tends to be lighter outside of the peak traffic hours. You are going to need a car to get around. Our public transportation system just is not that great in the Boise area. But the good news about that is that parking is really not a huge issue, even in downtown Boise. And the roads are generally very well maintained. You're not going to see tons of potholes all over the place. But as mentioned before, driving in the winter can be tricky. So you definitely, as I said, you want to invest in a car that can handle that all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. One of the biggest challenges in any move is rebuilding your social circle and finding a sense of community. Now, the good news here is that Idahoans are friendly. The Treasure Valley, which includes Boise, Meridian, Eagle, and the surrounding areas, is full of welcoming neighborhoods. So whether you're into outdoor activities, want to get involved in your local school events, or prefer networking in the business community, there's always something for everyone in Boise. Popular spots like Kleiner Park, Settlers Park are great places to meet other families, and local coffee shops and farmer's market are perfect for mingling with your neighbors. Many newcomers find that Idaho's sense 
sense of community makes it easy to get involved and make friends. Whether you join a hiking group, attend a local festival, volunteer at your children's school, you'll find plenty of ways to meet new people and start building your social circle. Moving from California to Idaho comes with its share of challenges, but with the right preparation, you can absolutely overcome them and truly enjoy the benefits of your new home. Idaho offers a slower pace of life, friendly communities, and a much lower cost of living, all things that make the adjustment worth it. If you're thinking about making the move, I'm here to help you. I've made the move myself from San Diego, and I absolutely love helping people just like you make the move here as well. And I specialize in helping Californians make that smooth transition here to Idaho. So whether you're nine days, 90 days, or even two years out, just reach out to me via phone, text, or email. We'll jump on a Zoom call, talk about your specific situation, and figure out the best plan for your relocation. Give me a call, get, shoot me a text, shoot me that email, and I'd love to help you make Idaho your new home. If you are looking to dive in deeper and you're looking to explore more about the Treasure Valley before you make the move here, all you gotta do is watch this video right here where we dive in deeper, and I'll see you on the next video.